So we're here at Arm Booth, and uh, you're Marvel, right? Yes. So what do you do at Marvel? Uh, I'm mar managing the marketing for the server segment. And we talked about two years ago when uh, our processor Armada XP was uh, at the first stages. And we are very happy today to show that we made a long way in uh, our product based on the Armada XP. So what was, uh, what was the experience like? What was the challenges over the last two years? The, the, there are several areas that we made the progress. So if we, if we look here, for instance, partnerships. Uh, first about the box builders or the ODMs that we have several of them working with us. Uh, another challenge was uh, to bring the software and uh, today we are very happy to be one of the main line software, prov software providers. All of them are working with us together. This, the software stack is coming up, uh, it can be downloaded, uh, can be maintained and it's uh, pretty much mainline. And once we got this, we can expand it now for applications and for other users. So if you walk around here, we can see it's actually, uh, it's for real. And this is it. So, yes, yeah, so what, what we see here uh, is a box that contains 64 CPUs, each, C, each tray or each one uh, blade. Can you pull one of the blades out? Yeah. yeah. Just, so I just put each blade has uh, eight processors. Uh, there are uh, also uh, storage devices here, uh, controllers, and networking. And this is what makes it great. If you go to the other side, you see the amount of bandwidth coming out of the server. Uh, very large, very large connectivity, and even if you come with the camera very, very close, you you cannot hear the noise. This is whoever was in the data center is very noisy, uh, very loud. These servers uh, have a very good power consumption, so they don't need so much fans and so much airflow, which make them more attractive. But my camera has a very good microphone, so maybe it does capture data. Full action. So, so <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Arm and servers is huge. It's a huge deal. Yes, and there are, this is this is what we show right now, and this is a partnership. They are more that uh, in the motions. Some of them we can talk. Some of them we cannot talk. Uh, there is there is also another servers from another arm vendors which just validate the market and we are very proud to be one of the first one if not the first one who made it happen the the software is getting way way better more mature more performance and we are we are in production with the silicon so the future is very bright here you're showing what are you showing here Kit. So this is this show this demonstrate the 64 nodes with the connectivities and uh, how you can connect and uh, you, you run application out of the server and this is very nice demonstration you see it's off the shelf software it's working it's fine and uh, you can you can play with it uh, we are very happy to be at uh, this stage and the demand for this box is now uh, quite high, much more than uh, uh, in this case Maita can even provide. So, it, How high? Uh, they're, they're, we, are, we are the silicon guys, they are the box providers. So, so you work at MyTac, right? Yes, I do, sir. So what do you do? Basically, I work in services. I've been called in for this particular demonstration. The box here itself is a, is a high-density uh, ARM processor uh, cloud server. We find it to be perhaps best applied towards uh, multiple clients uh, trying to access to an internet infrastructure. Rather than having a Mack truck to, to drive, them, drive them over the top of their heads, we got a, we got a uh, bunch of processors in here that can individually uh, scale with the, with the needs of the customer. This, in, this, in this way, you can better administer uh, the services throughout the different cores of the processor and 
and uh, it's more robust in, in, a, in a network environment. So you're going to provide for demand or not? You can't. But is Are it you going to manufacture enough? We, we expect to be manufacturing around around the uh, first quarter of next year at this point. Um, I understand that the, that the uh, sales guys are still working on their numbers right now on that. So uh, what, what's, what's going on at Marvel? Uh, like, uh, how, how would you classify this market? Is it all the cloud companies? Or it is, is it any... Who's, who's interested in this? It's, it's definitely interesting. Everybody is looking at this because it's fairly new. I, in first half of 2013, there will be uh, quite a bit of installations in, in several areas, uh, in Asia, in uh, China, in the US, and, and we are very happy to, to be there. And what needs to be ha happen next? Are you going to, like, do you have future plans, right? There is, yeah, there is. We, we, we cannot talk about specific names as we made there. I think the next uh, stage in the evolution will be to develop more and more applications for us. An application will be much more mature. Uh, this is, there are, there are consortiums of companies that even if you compete with each other, everybody is running the same architecture, so applications will be much better and this will expand also the, the usage model. So there's a winter right there, right? Uh, what, what are you showing actually? We have a couple of different displays here. This is Gorus, and it's basically showing the different nodes talking back and forth to each other. As you can see, this particular unit is one of the prototypes, and uh, during some transport has connectivity issues. But it does actually allow us to see from a management perspective which things are being connected, which nodes are having issues at this point. This right here is a demonstration more of perhaps uh, connecting in through a, a web type application where multiple requests are coming in looking for JPEG files, PHPs, etc. In some cases, they're being deflected and redirected towards other sources, uh, different uh, nodes within the cluster here. So, uh, are you doing some, some work to support the software? Myself, I'm not. That would be primarily done over on our Taiwan site, and uh, we've, got a, we've got a bunch of engineers working that through. The part that you do is? Myself. I'm actually located in a local branch. I'm my tech uh, employee working in services. So is it uh, services of uh, what kind? Mm. My tech is is a manufacturer of hardware services all the way from from consumer level up through enterprise, and we are a hardware manufacturer as an ODM, OEM, as well as contract manufacturer worldwide.